Hello, this is probably going to be the easiest review I'm ever going to do of a guitar because it's my telly. It has taken me absolutely forever to build this thing. I don't know why, but it just happened. Well, I do know why. Um, but yeah, really, really love it. Um, probably because it's taken so long to build and I've been waiting for so long to hear its voice and now it's got one. Um, I'm going to put some pictures up various points, maybe at the end, because um, it started off as a, as a Chinese uh, pack guitar. I didn't didn't get a jigsaw out and cut it and stuff like that, but measuring up for the metal bits, drilling, gluing, sticking, nailing things to other things, painting it, all down to me. Um, so I feel pretty proud of it. Various bits I'm not proud of, which I'm not going to go into because you're not interested. Um, but yeah, I, th I thought you might like to uh, hear how it sounds. Um, so here we go. I guess so this is this is uh, the neck pickup. Okay, and um, this is the uh, bridge pickup. Basically, uh, for the last six months, it's been sat in my office, uh, not working. Uh, mainly because, well, start at the beginning. You get a kit, you get a couple of pickups, uh, which you've seen from the unboxing. These uh, I bought are Texas Specials from Fender. These are not the Chinese ones that you get um, with a guitar, because they're rubbish. Um, yeah, so you have to do all the soldering and stuff yourself. So when I got it, painted it, put it all together, and then I thought, well, this is it, the job's done, so I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna solder it up, plug it in, hit it. I had nothing but hum. It just buzzed continuously. Really, really, really annoying, um, as you might expect. Uh, so it's been sat around here for a year, uh, sorry, six months, because I couldn't work out what was making it hum. Today, I rewired the lot. You may remember that I took apart a, uh, a strap for, from Gear for Music. I borrowed its innards. Um, so <laughs> these tone pots, the tone and the volume pot, are from a Gear for Music strap. <laughs> now, <laughs> why not? Uh, they're 500Ks, not 250Ks, which does make a small difference, but nothing noticeable. Um, yeah, so it works. What it was, uh, everything was wired correctly apart from the jack down here. Everything else, I mean, you can't really see it, but there's bits of tin foil sticking out here where I've shielded everything I could possibly think of to get rid of this hum. What it was in the end was I put, oh dear, I put the hot end on the, um, I put the hot end on the cold end and the cold end on the hot end on the jack, the ground rather. That's all it was. If you get something similar <laughs> when you're building a guitar, that's what it is. Because, you know, it th threw me completely. I thought it wouldn't work at all, but it did, but with lots of hum. Anyway, sorry. here we go. Um, what shall I do first? Let's, uh, let's play some some of <laughs> Thank you. 
working now, see perfectly. <laughs> chance to do this again there would be a million things I'll do differently absolutely <laughs> uh, the first thing I would do is learn about the electronics before I buy the pickups uh, I had a huge gap where I, I didn't really look at the schematics for the pickups I literally just didn't even put the ones from China in the guitar um, I just put these ones in and went for a soldering iron, that'll do. Um, and it sort of worked, <laughs> not really. Um, yeah, uh, it sort of worked, but it didn't. And if it wasn't for the fact that I soldered it six or seven times, and I still wouldn't work out what it was, I should have gone back to the beginning sooner. De definitely This nut is trashed um, because I didn't think of shaving it off the bottom rather than the top and setting the height. <laughs> what, a retard, what a retarded thing to do. Um, so I've actually <laughs> cut slots in for the strings. <laughs> so the strings are in a massive crevice. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, all the rest, actually, I've measured up fine. I wish I'd taken a proper look at a real strap, a uh, real strap, Telecaster. Um, the, the bridge is slightly too high going up this way. Um, as is this bit down here. Um, the other thing is it's from China and it's not it's not well done. So this plate here is actually incorrect. Um, it happens. Anyway, let's um let's try me 78 pounds or something like that, I don't know. Um, the pickups, Texas Special Fender, as I mentioned, they cost about 110. Um, so it's about an expensive uh, telecaster from um, Squire, I guess. Um, it doesn't sound too bad. 
the heights on the bridge and that basically upset this guitar really badly because I wasn't entirely sure what I was doing. Now I know a lot more, but it's a bit late. <laughs> it's like, I wish I'd done this and I didn't. Um, for example, um, I've got a rattly, rattly B string. You're probably not going to hear it now, which is. You're probably not going to hear it on the microphone, but it is quite rattly. Um, purely because the string is um, battering against the hex bolt on the hex nut on the height adjustment. I wish I drilled holes through the body, um, like a real telly, so you drill holes through the body, and then there's these metal caps, so you put, instead of the strings being on top of the bridge here, they go right through and clip on. Um, I wish I'd done the nut properly, up here. Um, the tuner is on to replace them at some point, if I can be bothered. Um, but other <laughs> This is the Brimcaster, <laughs> maybe. No, this is a Telecaster, made by me. Um, Trevor, all the tricks, depending on what you want to call it. And uh, sort of space theme that went sort of wrong. But it's got a voice at last, and I'm so pleased it has. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, like and subscribe for more. I'm going to be, I've got several projects on the go that I'd like to keep you up to date with. If you subscribe, then you can follow me in my weird adventures. Alright guys, uh, thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.